My name is Jeb. My name is Rich. And this is a comic strip AP of Sorcerer featuring the slow descent into terror of Percival Louder. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's totally the dice's fault. <laughs> right. And when we last saw Percival, his mother had just bound his demon out right from under him. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. You open the door and she just, she just wasn't there. Uh, I head over to the building directory just to see. As you had expected, her, her name is on it. Yeah. I just, you see a finger kind of trace underneath where the lettering is right there on the board. Shit. Uh, yeah. You see her name on an apartment. Are you going to head up to the apartment? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Okay. Sorcery being sorcery, uh, she answers the door and welcomes you in. It looks like, I mean, she's moved in. Her All of her travel stuff has just been moved right in. More than that, the, the whole place smells of her cigarette smoke. Like, like she's been smoking in it for years. A bit of a bemused smile on my face. It suits you. Not really, but I did what I had to do. Yes, you did. What will happen to the buildings back home? Nothing's happened to the buildings back home. I still have the manor. All right. I'm going to check on Vanderbilt. Wish me luck. Good luck. And I'll turn on a heel and head back to the elevator. I assume this is a penthouse, right? So yeah. I'm just kind of turn right back around to the elevator and head back down. Yep. I'm going to grab a cab Okay. over to Vanderbilt 1. Yeah, I mean, the last time you went to Vanderbilt 1, it was in a, it was in a Phantom. And this time you're going in a, in a cab. Yeah, it's a different vibe, without a doubt. You you pay the cabbie, who is surly and just doesn't really want, is not really interested in talking to you. It's a busy time of day, and, and they've got a different place to be. Right as they drop you off, they pick up somebody else. Okay, yeah. Your old Phantom is parked out front of Vanderbilt, and standing at the driver's side door is Addison. And he's in... A chauffeur's outfit. Oh, God. I, I... I didn't want... I didn't want to know that. Okay. I'm, I'm, how much of Vanderbilt 1 is completed? It's got more of a shape to it, but, I mean, a month later, and it's not too far much more along by your eyes, Right. Right. What they've more done is that there's more construction material there ready to be put up. You know, it's more of like a month's worth of setup has happened. And and I say that because I've been walking past that construction site for a month and nothing, it doesn't look any damn different uh, <laughs> since we started playing. Okay. So uh, I, I can honestly say it just doesn't look very much different. Um, I think when these skyscrapers go up, it takes a long, it's like a, there's a long setup period before things start really going up. And it's still in that setup period. And I know nothing about construction, so if you're listening and you, you know a lot about construction, and, and please feel free to leave a comment. It's still There's still material being brought in. I'm heading up to the driver's side door. I can't help myself. And I'll rap on the glass if... No, he's, he's standing. He's standing by the door. Oh. Addison's standing there. He, he looks at you and says, uh, Mr. Louder. Hello. I... I assume you're the chauffeur. I am. I know that I must look like your friend, but I am not him. I am just wearing his skin. My friend is... the sacrifice that sealed the deal? He nods. It... it nods? Hmm. Thanks. That that doesn't lessen the blow, but thanks. In my experience, this is very difficult for folk. I am not Addison. Where is Frederick? He nods to the building. Okay. I'm heading inside. It's a sealed construction site. Right now it's kind of midday, so it would be hard to get in. But he he nods to the, the big wooden fencing. The only way you can see in, if you want to, is there are these little diamond shape squares turned you know to diamond side right and uh little diamond square 
windows in every couple of panels of the wood, and you can kind of look in. There was a security guard before. I'll head to there. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's only stationed at night. I don't know. No, the, the guard is there. Uh, matter of fact, it's not a guard at this time of day. It's a construction guy. Seems like everybody's smoking a cigarette, but yeah, he's smoking a cigarette too. Hey, I need to see Mr. Johansson. Sure. Hold on. And he uh, gets on his CB and says, There's some guy here from for the boss. I don't know. He says to come in. Okay. I'll go inside. You're ushered down into the construction pit where the original conflict happened. <sighs> Great. It's broad daylight, and there are half a dozen skyscrapers looming over you, and you can kind of see people on their breaks at work or at meetings uh, kind of looking down into it because they're the only people who really can. And at the bottom of the pit, standing near the altar, is uh, is Frederick. His bodyguards are there, too. Uh, he's got these burly, ex-military-looking bodyguards with black turtlenecks and, and black work pants and black steel-toed boots. Or maybe not steel-toed boots, maybe like Spec Ops brand you know, boots. Okay. They all give you nasty eyes. And Frederick says, it's fine. It's fine. We're old friends. Louder's been at this game for a while. He's, he knows enough not to hold grudges. You were born into it, right, Percival? That's right. Here to offer congratulations. You were the better sorcerer for Vanderbilt. Oh, it's nice to see you not being a sore loser about it. Well, you didn't kill me. You did kill Addison. Why did I live? I've got to be honest with you. I thought you were dead. That's why I didn't kill you. <laughs> the first time I've ever killed anyone. Addison was a mess. I had to I had to spill blood on the altar to seal it. He was the thing that pushed it over. He allowed me to break the bond. I mean, he didn't allow it. He struggled, but he was an old guy. There wasn't much left to him. Yeah, I guess not. Well... It won't be your last. And I'm not going to feed it. So good luck. Good luck to you. Now look at the guards. Can I feel Vanderbilt here? Oh yeah, totally. Is there any pull? Is there anything left? Are there any strands? You can tell there's a demon here, but there's nothing left of your bond. Your binding has been entirely broken. Okay. There are other buildings. It's a big city. Turn and walk out. Uh, you walk out, and uh, there is what they call in the business an EDP, or emotionally disturbed person, panhandling. He's sitting out by the gate with a hat, and uh, he's got like a, a really worn Jansport kid's backpack. Uh huh. As people go by, he's like, Hey, I got a chicken in here! And I gotta get enough carrots and soup so I can cook this chicken. Can't you give me some money for my chicken? Come on. I wanna finish this chicken soup. Wow. What does Percival do? Like, what is his reaction? He fishes out a money roll, peels off a hundred, hands it to the guy. Then he heads to the curb and we'll try to flag down a cab. He takes it, and uh, the, the, the fictional chicken in his, in his backpack stops shaking. And he says, thanks, son. He stands up, and I think um, he's, he's pretty, like, he's limber. He stands up without using his hands, you know? He just stands up. He takes the uh, bowl he was using and uh, puts it into the bag and, and puts it on his back. He says, louder, you kept my name, didn't use your mom's. It's got to mean something. You look like you're having a rough day. Want to talk to the old man about it? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Let's end right there. I I think we're done. I think that kicker is over with, right? That was like a, a tour of Percival's defeat. I mean, that was just brutal. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hi, this is Jason from the Gauntlet Gaming Community. 
If you enjoyed this episode of Comic Strip AP, please consider supporting the Gauntlet on Patreon. Our page can be found at patreon.com forward slash gauntlet.